this uh, Spanish woman what's going on behind me and she said this is the Arbol de Deseos which means the uh, tree of desires so whatever you want whatever you wish for you write a little note and you put it on this tree behind me so that's a uh, tradition I guess they have in Spain so it's pretty cool so I guess a lot of the children are putting what they want for Christmas and I said is it for the children and she said for anyone so very nice. Some people are having a lot of fun and Larios is really rocking. There's people here, they have their tarte de jala, which is what they drink. Their uh, sweet wine from Malaga. Everybody's having that. And yeah, we have some fans behind me. Awesome. Everybody's having a good time. All the young people out and the party's going and we're going to take you to the center of the action. Travel at it, guys. So stay tuned. Feria in Malaga. How many tattoos you have? I don't know. Okay. Can you show us some? Or? That's cool. Get them here? Wow. Look at that. Oh, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Nugal Bar, man. It's got this little back room where you can go and have your drinks. It's a lot of people here. It's cool. I like it. It's really chill. Now we're hanging out at Sorita, man. Barcelona, man. Barcelona. Oh, what is, eh, what is the name of it, this place? Cruceros Torre del Oro. La Torre del Oro. Eh? Torre, Torre del Oro. Okay, so it's Tower of Gold. Okay. Yes. And you are the you are the manager, the owner? The, the captain. The of captain. The... Ah, the capitana. <laughs> ah, okay, look at that. Nice. And you're from Sevilla? or? Yes, I'm from Sevilla. Ah, okay, very nice. Okay, <laughs> cool. And this is going to be a fun ride, right? Yes, of course. Okay, You're I going wait. to enjoy it a lot. I like this. Five euros, I like the price. It's very good. So, this might be a good thing. It's always five euros or you get a special price? Uh, normally it's ten euros, but oh. in oh, thank you so much. summer, five euros. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I feel like I'm in a Scooby-Doo mystery going into this cave. into the caves. About wolf pig now. Wolf pig's your friend. Yeah, <laughs> wolf pig. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to hear uh, We don't start with wolf pig. So yeah. Yeah. Well, basically, I had a friend who got involved in cocaine in a big in a big way. Okay. It's called the white lady to people who know. Who yeah, has yeah. A proper addiction with cocaine. Okay. But this this lad, he's a very vivacious uh, lunatic. <laughs> tattoos, Irish man, yeah, not yeah. right in the head. Oh, not right in the head. Okay. Yeah. So he, so his missus rang me and went, Wishing, can you please? Uh, look for him. Can you? Can you? He's gone missing. And I said, "Where's he fucking gone missing?" And he's headed to the mountains. And I said, "What the fuck do you mean the mountains?" And he was heading up, up the fucking hills. But right. he, he thought he was a cross between a wolf and a pig. Holy shit! And he was calling himself Wolf Pig. And he developed a cape out of a fucking um, a tail, like okay. a massive big long tail. And he had like a Superman emblem that he wrote himself. And he was, was living there. And half wolf. He was no, living no, in the mountains. He was naked. Yeah, yeah. He went, oh, he was in, oh, he's naked. Yeah, he, he ended up in the mountains and he was fucking. Uh, Crawling on all fours. He was all fours and we oh, were trying shit. to catch yeah. him. So I, I had to go up with his dad. I had to go up with his dad. So when you're in Sevilla, you gotta be careful. They got these gypsies here, and they're here, they're here right in front of the cathedral. They're behind me, and they're coming up to you with this rosemary, and she tried to say it's a gift, take it. And do not engage them, just walk by. Do not engage them, because they wanna put it in your hand, and if you accept it, then they're gonna ask you for money, and they're gonna be very persistent. So it's something you wanna avoid here. It's like a scam in Sevilla. So I got them on film there, so. Be careful of that and um, you know if they know you're a tourist something like that they're definitely going to be on the lookout for you so something to pay attention to do not accept anything from just keep walking do not engage them they got the little rosemary in their hand and that's what they're trying to do i'm going to 
tapa here, and this is the best ham. It's the it's called Iberico ham, and it's uh, from Iberian in English, and it's from a region of Spain. And uh, the the pig only eats the acorns, and in Spanish they call it bellota, and it has a black the nail. The nail is black, so this is the best ham, and it has a flavor because. Um, it only eats the acorn, so it gives it a natural flavor, a really good flavor. So, it's uh, we're gonna try it now. It's really it's supposed to be the best ham, and this cinco jota or five J is the best ham in Spain. Jamón, y este jamón que vamos a comer aquí en en Sevilla en un bar que se llama Marisco Emilio es un bar que tiene el mejor jamón que hay en Sevilla. Y eso se nota por la textura. Que se lo va a comer mi nieto Ajá. por la textura de la grasa, Ajá. la grasa. Así que venga a comer, eso está buenísimo. Okay, vale, muchas gracias. ¿Y tu nombre? Por bottom price, man. What do you want? Money in the middle, seventeen. No, excuse me, good price. No, too much, man. We meet in the middle, man. My friend in the middle, like in the middle, you know. You meet me here, fifteen, twenty. You meet me right here in the middle. Seventeen, man. So what I do is five. Twenty euro. Last surprise. Oh, I can. I last off for eighteen. Eighteen, or I leave. Hope to get some money. You better. You can do it. Man. Come on. You can do it. It's good deal. We both happy. Better. Okay. This. This. Good, no? No, eighteen. One eight. One eight. One eight. One eight. Eight. Vale, one nine. One nine. One eight. No, one nine. One eight. Good price. One eight. Eighteen fifty. Eighteen fifty. Okay, my friend. So they gave it the name Balcony of Europe after that, and that's why it's called that. And this is a statue of. He was the king of Spain in 1885. So it's Alfonso, Rey Alfonso the Twelfth, King Alfonso. This is just fabulous in the, the flamenca dress and, and the bed. I imagine this is where they lived for many years and this is so many years of history here. It's like going back in time. It's just the way it was. It's just, and there's people still living like this. And this is the actual cave here. You're not gonna see this anywhere. So you're not gonna see this on CNN. You're not gonna see this on BBC. You're only gonna see this on Travel Addict Guide channel. So you have to subscribe to this to see content like this because this is amazing. I took you in here. I talked to this man. And uh, he's a real gypsy, this man. And he's telling me the whole story of this. So this is fantastic. This, this, um... this is the Royal Park in uh, Warsaw, Poland. This is the residence of a king from 1760 to 1790, I believe. His name is Stanislav August. He was the king of uh, Poland at the time. And uh, he was a very important person. He was a philosopher. He was a politician. And he tried to reform the country of Poland. But this was his summer residence. And it's just a beautiful place. You can see he had a pot like a palace here and it's just gorgeous. I mean the park